Over the years, NASA have made some incredible discoveries, but recently they've come forward and said that they've found a planet that could potentially host human life. This planet is known as GJ357D, and NASA have said it's around 31 light years away from our solar system. It orbits in the Goldilocks zone of the GJ357 system, where scientists have speculated that water could form. The reason it gets the name of a super-Earth is because it's around six times the size of our planet. Lisa Koteniger, who's an astronomy professor, said the following about the planet. It's a distance from the star that's not too hot and not too cold. The planet was not expected to be there, so it was like a freebie, because it was discovered in the follow-up. I was on vacation at the time and I was completely surprised. Although this is an incredible discovery, the planet is too far away. What it's told researchers though is there could be other Earth-like planets out there in the vastness of space. As the human race develops its technological prowess, we have to look to the horizon to see whether or not this technology is helping us move to the next big thing. With the advent of new robotics and research into artificial intelligence, it appears to be a race against time before we find our inventions slowly smothering us under the weight and responsibilities of progress. In order to combat these changes, many scientists and researchers have said that we need to look to the stars. Another planet that researchers have found interesting is that of Kepler-20f. Although the planet's known as Kepler-20f is more than 929 light years away from the Earth, meaning that it would take more than 900 years travelling at the speed of light before humanity could even reach the planet. It's still an ideal location for the establishment of future colonies, and holds more similarities to Earth and Venus itself. In fact, the planet Kepler-20f is much cooler than Venus, being more than 100 degrees Fahrenheit cooler at its maximum temperature. When the planet was first discovered back in 2011, it was noticed as being a rocky planet with the same mass, radius and gravity as planet Earth, while also supporting a rich atmosphere believed to be containing vast amounts of water vapour. Unfortunately, this water vapour caused a runaway greenhouse effect, that sees the planet as an overall temperature too hot to support life. However, with a few modifications to the environment, it could very well be a much better twin than Venus without requiring the extensive needs of terraforming as on our neighbouring planet. So what do you guys make of this? And do you think we should be heading to other planets? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.